things. In this lecture, I want to talk about the, di the difference between the one, what we, we're going to call the one-way rules versus what we're going to call the two-way rules, or alternately we'll call them rules of replacement. So one-way rules only work one way. So all of our basic rules are like this. So P and Q lets us derive Q. But we can't go backwards. If we knew Q, we wouldn't know that P and Q is the case. So we can't derive P and Q just from Q alone. But we can derive Q alone from the statement P and Q. Likewise, if we have the statement Q, then we can know that P or Q is true. But we can't go vice versa. If we know that P or Q is true, we can't know that Q is true. So these rules go one way. So from our derived rule set, we have a number of rules that only go one way. So disjunctive syllogism, um, the cut rule, hypothetical syllogism, and also biconditional hypothetical syllogism and modus tollens and biconditional modus tollens. Then we have in the derived rules we have a bunch of rules that we're going to call two-way rules or rules of replacement. So rules like the rule of commutivity, um, the rule of associativity, the rule of De Morgan's, etc. We have quite a number of these rules. Let's just throw in the rule of double negation. There's a big long list. There's more two-way rules amongst the derived rules than there are one-way rules. And so these rules go two ways. So if we know the formula P and Q, then we can know the formula Q and P. But it works both ways. If we know Q and P is true, then we also know P and Q is true. So that's one feature of them, is that they go both ways. So we're going to write them a little differently. We're going to write them so the rule of commutivity for AND, we're going to write them using these four dots in between. And that signifies that this is a two-way rule. Okay, so as I was saying, these rules um, go both ways, and we indicate this using the four dots. Um, and the Here's the beauty of them going both ways. That it's this really cool trick that I'm going to show you. What's different about the two-way rules, or as we call them, the rules of replacement. And this, when I show you this, it'll become obvious why we call them rules of replacement. Is that unlike the one-way rules, these can these rules can be applied to parts of lines. So suppose I have the formula. P and Q, arrow, R. And for some reason, I would like to have the formula Q and P, arrow, R. Well, I can have that by the rule of commutivity on line 1. So I applied it not to the formula as a whole, as I could, let's say, suppose I had the formula... P and Q and R arrow S. I could apply commutivity to the whole formula because the main connector is an AND. And I could write R arrow S and P and Q. And that would be by commutivity on 3.
Okay, so I can do either one, and it's completely legal. I could even, if you want to, you're even allowed to do two applications of the same rule in one step. So suppose what I really wanted was, I wanted not only to switch the order of the conjuncts of the statement as a whole, but suppose, oops, I need to, it needs to be the same letter, so how about QNP? Um, suppose I also wanted to switch the order of the conjuncts of the left conjunct of the statement as a whole. Then I could do that. If that doesn't get you confused, as long as it doesn't get you confused, um, I don't recommend you do too many of these sort of double applications at once because um, it can get really, really confusing. But as long as it seems pretty straightforward, like if I had the formula, let's say, Q and P, um, arrow, R or S, then I could do commutivity on both halves. So I could write P and Q, arrow, S or R. And that's not confusing at all. That's pretty easy to follow. But if it starts to get too many conversions, it's probably better to take it in a number of steps. Um, one thing you can't do is so we have a rule. Um, let's say there's the rule of double negation. So suppose I have the formula P and Q arrow R, let's say. And I want, what I want is the formula Q arrow R and not not P. Let's say, for some reason. Well, I cannot do that in one step. Don't do that. So you can do multiple applications of the same rule, but you can't do an application of two different rules um, at once. So I would have to, let's say, I first did the commutivity part. So this first one here is by commutivity. And then I did the double negation part. That would be fine. That's how you have to do it. If you need to do two different things to a given formula to get whatever you want, then do it in two steps. But you can see here, um, one, the first step was to the to the rule as a, to the formula as a whole. I commuted the whole formula, whereas the double negation, I only double negated just a part of it. If I double negated the whole formula, that would be to get something like that. But that's not what I did. So that's a really cool thing that you can do with the two-way rules. And it comes in super useful in lots of different ways.